The Sugar Bowl has Alabama and Kansas State. The Tide is favored by six on this. The total is 56. It's on Saturday, December 31st, New Year's Eve, of course. This one also at 11 a.m. Central Time. And this one's on ESPN. It's one of those New Year's Six Bowls. It's it's whatever deal that they've got going on right now. Um, so let's go on and, and pull up some numbers and look at uh, what the what the numbers say here. So these numbers are from week eight through the end of the regular season. And they would have Alabama favored by 12.38 points. That's a lot. Uh, Bryce Young is going to play. Will Anderson is going to play. That's a huge deal, right? So I, Alabama not expected to have any opt-outs other than Javian Cohen on the offensive line. And I don't know that he's not replaceable. So I don't know. It, really, this is it, this comes down to motivation, right? If Alabama wants to be there, they should be able to cover this six. Kansas State, really, really good this year on offense, especially towards the end of the season. Their defense eh, leaves a little bit to be desired. They are number 52 in stuff rate. They are number 75 in offensive line yards. Alabama's running game is not great, but when you go up against an average uh, run-stopping team, that offensive line can get a little bit of a push there. It's, it's different playing Kansas State than it is to play against LSU or Texas A&M or whatever. It's, it's just a different beast. That's nothing against Kansas State. I'm just talking about different talent levels, okay? Uh, now, when you look at this, Kansas State's offense, number 10 PPA per pass. The surprising thing here is that they are not great at running the football, especially at the end of the year, right? Number 65 PPA per pass, number 59 rushing success rate. Now, Alabama's numbers are not good, but they've also gone up against some run-heavy teams in Auburn and Ole Miss towards the end of the season. And that's going to skew those numbers a little bit. So, eh, it's, it's a little little different. When you look at standard down PPA, like which teams can stay ahead of the chains, etc., uh, Alabama's defense is number seven. Standard down's PPA. And their defense is number seven in standard, or excuse me, number 50 in standard down success. Well, Kansas State is number 62 in PPA and number 64 in standard down success. Like, they, they're not staying uh, over anybody. Like, that's the surprising thing. So, I, yeah, they can throw the football. They don't, they don't do it all the time. It's like forty-six percent of the time. But that's the thing that Alabama is the best at. Alabama is number one in PPA per pass since week eight of the season. So if that's the way that you're going to attack them with Will Howard at quarterback, eh, you might have to come up with something a little bit different, right? Um, I I look at this. You're looking at points per play margin, number four against number 12. Net points per drive, Alabama number four against Kansas State number uh, 22. You look at uh, strength of schedule, Alabama's number nine, Kansas State number 16. Like this, all of this seems to point Alabama's way. Yes, Alabama did underperform. Went 0 3 and 1, I think, in the last four games uh, against the number. Um, but this number was kind of artificially deflated based on what everybody thought they knew and now it's come back up a little bit this number should be over a touchdown and it's still sitting under a touchdown at the time that i'm recording this so if you're giving me the option here yeah i'm i'm gonna go alabama on this one i i expect the tide to be able to roll here give me give me alabama minus the six in the sugar bowl Psst. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.